It is corn planting time and Big Tractor Power is out in the field with big New Holland tractors as they fertilize, till, and seed the ground for the upcoming season's corn crop. We're going to take a close look at the specifications of the big machines out in the field and talk about the process they go through to get the ground ready for seeding. We'll take a look at each of the machines as they work and it starts out with the fertilizing pass and that includes a liquid applicator that makes sure that there's enough nutrients in the ground for the corn crop to be successful. The next step is a vertical tillage pass with a large articulated T9 New Holland four-wheel drive and we'll get a close-up look at that in the Great Plains turbo till it is pulling and then we'll get up in the cab of a big New Holland T8 tractor pulling a Kinsey corn planter as they seed corn into the ground and we'll talk about the row spacing of this planter and all of its functions so stay tuned to learn a lot about big blue machines at work putting the corn crop in the ground. Before we get into the corn planting process on this Western Kentucky farm, let's look back at the previous year's harvest in the same field. This field is going from corn back into corn. The farm plants all of its corn on 20 inch rows. They like the narrow rows because of the yield that it provides the strength of the stalks in narrow rows have less wind damage and they also provide better weed control because the canopy is formed much quicker to drown out any weeds that are trying to grow up between the rows. The farm harvests its corn with a Class 8 New Holland CR8090 twin rotor combine. It's powered by a 449 horsepower CNH Industrial FTP engine and it has a 350 bushel grain tank. Corn normally yields anywhere from 190 to 210 bushels in a good year and in an extra good year you might see anywhere from 220 to 230 bushels an acre in western Kentucky. This farm is harvesting the corn with an 18 row 20 inch Drago corn head and you'll notice that the header has stock stompers on it to help push down the stalks and help them decompose over the winter so they're easy to size and work up into a seed bed the next spring. In the springtime, when the corn planting process begins, the farm relies on three big New Holland tractors. They are often working in close proximity together in the same field. The first pass is made to apply fertilizer and that is accomplished by a New Holland T8 275 Genesis tractor manufactured in Racine, Wisconsin alongside the popular Case IH Magnum line. This tractor is powered by a 531 cubic inch 8.7 liter FTP CNH industrial engine. It has a engine horsepower rating of 235 a maximum horsepower output of 275, that's where the tractor's model number comes from, and a PTO rating of 195 horsepower. This tractor is pulling a Shaven liquid applicator. The Shaven has coulters that slice through the ground and then tubes that apply the liquid nitrogen into the soil so that the corn has a maximum potential to use the fertilizer and grow throughout the season to reach top yields during harvest. After the liquid nitrogen has been placed in the soil to help the corn grow, the next pass is made by a New Holland T9 450 articulated four-wheel drive with a 30-foot Great Plains 3300 TT turbo till. This tool helps smooth out the soil and prepare the seed bed. The tractor is powered by an FTP CNH Industrial 12.9 liter 787 cubic inch engine. It has a 405 horsepower rating, it has a maximum horsepower output of 450, and it has a 400 PTO horsepower rating. This tractor is produced in Fargo, North Dakota, along with the Case IH Steiger line.
The third step is the planning process, and that is completed by a New Holland T8390 Genesis tractor pulling a Kinsey 3700 24 row 20 inch corn planter. It's planting corn on 40 foot wide passes, and we'll take a look at this tractor and planter at work out in the field. And we'll also be climbing up in the cab of the tractor and getting a closer look at how the planter works. Here we can see the planter is equipped with a starter fertilizer tank. That's the big tank just below the camera. And that places another liquid fertilizer in the ground to allow the corn seeds to get off to a quick start as they begin growing once they've been placed in the soil. We can also take a look at the back of the planter to look at the row units and here we can see they're cutting through the ground that was cut up by the Great Plains turbo till. You can see that it sized up the corn stalks and left a nice fluffy seabed for the new corn crop to begin growing in. The New Holland T8390 Genesis tractor uses IntelliSteer. All the tractors, whether they're a T8 or a T9 in this video, are using that IntelliSteer, which is the white beacon on the roof, and that is a GPS program that helps steer the tractor on auto guidance. So it's making a perfect 40 foot pass here with that 24 row, 20 inch Kinsey 3700 series corn planter. We're up in the cab of the New Holland T8390 Genesis tractor and we can see it's pulling the Kinsey 3700 series 24 row 20 inch corn planter. We'll take a look out the back at the planter as it's planting the corn seed in the ground. It's got that liquid starter fertilizer tank and then two 55 bushel commodity tanks that carry 110 bushels of corn seed and this planter will cover around 200 acres of ground before it needs to be refilled. We'll take a look at the tractor's GPS guidance system. We can see it's mapping its way across the field with that New Holland IntelliSteer. The tractor's running at about 8 miles per hour, and this can cover quite a bit of ground in the day, and the GPS system is completely hands-free. This tractor's making perfect 40-foot passes back and forth across the field. Where the operator comes in is to actually turn the tractor around just turns the steering wheel and it takes it off a of guidance to point it on its next heading. As soon as the tractor is pointed back towards the next pass, the computer system takes back over and it's steering itself. It will also control the raising and lowering of the planter so we can look out in the back and we'll see the planter being controlled by the computer system being dropped right back into the ground as it clears the headland. And this helps reduce fertilizer and seed costs because everything is going right where it needs to go in the field without any overlap. This tractor is manufactured in Racine, Wisconsin alongside the popular Case IH Magnum line. It is a Genesis model. It has a horsepower rating of 340, maximum horsepower rating of 390, and a PTO horsepower rating of 290, and it's powered by that same FTP CNH industrial engine we saw on the T8275 applying fertilizer. I hope that you've enjoyed watching these big blue New Holland tractors planting corn in western Kentucky. If you have additional questions about this video, leave them in the comment section below and I will try to answer them. 
If you'd like to see more videos of big farm equipment at work, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machinery in action. As always, thank you for watching.